Hello, folks. I hope you guys doing fine. Welcome back to IT is not a god. I am your host, Admitting Jot. It is a good idea to learn new skill during the lockdown. And today, I will teach you how you can build a local website by yourself. We will build a website with WordPress. And before you get started, you should know about the flavors of WordPress. It divided into three categories. The first one is WordPress.com and another one WordPress.com business plan. And lastly, WordPress.org. So what are the difference between the three? WordPress.com, it is a personal blog. You cannot do a do much of the customization. It's very limited. You get only what is come with the box. But if you want to add a functionality to your WordPress.com website, you need to pay a business plan so you can install the themes and the plugin, but it's still very limited. The good things about WordPress.com though, uh, it is take care by WordPress, so you don't need to care about the securities, about the hacking problems, about the server speed and stuff. But with WordPress.org, it, the whole world is different. It is a hosted version one, it means it is the cell host one. You need to find a server to host your website and you need to install everything by your own. But because it is your own house, you can do anything you want. You can customize the theme, the plugin, you can install the function to make your website become an e-commerce uh, or whether it's a forum or a, and a lot more. Okay, so today I will teach you exactly how you can build your website from the ground up to the end. But before we get started, in case you are new to the channel, please click subscribe and click on the notification bell so you will see more tutorials like this and another tutorial related to the computer tips, how to make money online. I also live stream game when I have free time and there are a lot of videos coming to the channel. So make sure you click on notification bell so you won't miss the next update. So no further ado, let's get started. Before you can install the websites on your local computer, you need a couple of software. The first software that you're going to need to be installed as a web server is called Web Server. But some people prefer different program like Sam or MAMS, okay? But in today's video, I will use Web Server. So just go to Web Servers and download the programs. I will show you exactly how you can download it. Later on in this series, I also teach you to understand about what the difference between blog post and page, and then we go and customize the website. After that, we're going to migrate our website to the live server, as well as I will teach you about web server, how to make a web server by your own, or just by already made servers that provided by hosting provider. So no further ado, let's get started. Let's get the software and get everything ready. So you need to go to web server website. I will change the language to English. In my case, I could not understand French. Let's click on web server 64 and start download. You also need to download Microsoft Visual Studio redistributable. So uh, that one is was 2012 and you also need the 2013 one. I will provide the link to download in case you cannot find the link. Just to save the time, the file already downloaded on desktop, so I will start install it straight away. So the first one, we're going to install Microsoft Visual Studio redistributable 64-bit, and then the 86 one for 2012 and 2013. So I will speed up the installation progress. And then we're going to install web server. Click on yes, and then start install. Choose your language, click OK. This is the license agreement. 
if you're free you can yeah feel free to read it okay but for now i'm going to skip click on i accept the agreement and click next we click next again click next and i'm going to leave with the default installation but if you know what you are doing you can do the customization as you want it. okay so click next again next and install this is going to take a few minutes depend on the specification of your computer so it's right here click on yes we're going to use our favorite browser i.e explorer everyone favorites and then the notepad click on yes and if you have another text editors program feel free to browse for that file for now i'm going to stick with the default because i'm installing on my vmware okay so for now everything is ready and it's good to go click on next and then finish then we can start the server here click on yes So you may see the WAM icon on your taskbar here. If you see it red or yellow, it means it's not working. But if it show green, it means you go to go. So now our WAM server is ready. We can access it from here. Just click on localhost and it will open like this. So I'm not going to use the crappy IE Explorer here. We're going to use Microsoft Edge instead. Just type localhost and then we go to our website. Okay, so in order to install your website, you need to have the CMS file. So to go to WordPress and download the file. So now I'm on WordPress. Click on Get WordPress. By the time I'm recording this video, the WordPress latest version is 5.51, and when you watch this video in the future, the version might change. Maybe it's go up to 5, 5, 5 or something. Okay. So for now, I'm just download the file. But uh, even though the file version is changed, the installation progress is still the same. Okay. Now we have downloading the file. Let me go to the download folder. We need to extract the file. Right click and extract. Click extract. Okay, so now the file is extracted. We can move the folder, right click, cut the folder, and then you go to your local C drive. Let's go to WAM64. Let's go to folder WW and paste your files there. After that, let's go back to your local host. Let's go to PHP My Admin. And we're going to create a database. You should have a notepad to note all the necessary information for the installation. It is a good practice. So let me open notepad. And by default, the username for your my actual server is root and it's blank. The password is blank. But on your web server, on the live web server you will have the password so make sure you got that password noted down i will show i will cover that topics in the future video so for now it's blank so let's go into that one click go and then we go into create a database click on database here and all right I see where you can change the password. Let's go back to the server. Okay, we can change the password. So just give it a password. So yeah, we don't feel it's blank, 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 blank. Okay, I'm going to put it like that. That the password, the password is blank, 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 blank. Okay. And click go. Okay. So now the password is changed. Let's go to database and we're going to create a database name. The database I'm going to use today is called WordPress. Just put it like that. Click on create. All right, and then just go to your localhost again. 
you will see a projects folder here but you cannot click on that because spam server just upgrade the version so you cannot uh, go directly to the folder you need to type by yourself so for now we go into type localhost and then you type wordpress hmm. since wordpress update you don't need to do a lot of configuration when you have database in hand and the installation file ready you can start installing straight away in some case on old server it's not going to work that way you need to do the configuration by changing the wp config sample here to wp config and do some configuration on that file so i'm going to show you how you can do some configuration in case your server is not allow you to install like this so you need notepad program and on the live server, you may have another program to edit the file. So we're going to rename wp-config sample to wp-config. And we're going to modify something here. So do you remember the database name? Okay, we got it. Note down right here. It's called WordPress. And how about the my actual username? It is root. And the password is blank blank blank. Okay. Since this is the demo installation, I don't need to worry about the okay, game. I'm showing you guys the, my password. But on the live website, you need to cover your password and not allow anybody know what is your password so they cannot mess around with your site. And then here we go into get the salt key. Just copy the link and go to the internet and oh, my bad. Okay, copy and paste this key over there. Okay, click save. And then we can close the file. Everything is good to go. I'm going to quick load again. Type to our directory for now it say it's error uh -huh. error established that's funny so let me go to the server again and see the password in case something is wrong with it all right i'm just put one two three to add more click go so the password is let's Lock out to see whether the password is correct. Okay, it's correct. So let's get back here. Get your notepad, open WordPress, and reconfigure the password because we just add one, two, three. And there, the database name is incorrect. That's why it's not working. Okay, just save it and you can reload the page and it will allow you to install. Choose your language, click continue, name your site, I'm going to call it demo site and then we call the username demo admin and the password demo pass. One, two, three, da, 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 like that, okay? And the email, you can put your email or any email because it's not going to work okay since you install just a local website no one will be able to send or receive email from you okay um for now let's log into our website that we just installed with the username and password that we have created okay click log in click on the demo site and then you visit site to see how beautiful our website look like Okay, nothing you can see much, just only hello world post. Seeing this is just a demo website, we have nothing yet, just a structure. So you won't see it much. In the future video, I will teach you some basic knowledge about WordPress. What is the post? What is a page? What is a widget? So yeah, stay tuned. We'll see you in the next one. 
In case you are new to the channel, please click on subscribe and click on the notification bell so you will see the future videos like this and another video tutorial related to computer tutorial how to make money online. I also do live stream games when I have free time. So make sure you click on the notification bell so you won't miss the future update. Okay, bye bye. See you in the next one.